I'm Councilman Michael Nowakowski, and welcome to Phoenix 2020, a clearer vision for Phoenix. And we're right here in downtown Phoenix at St. Matthew's Community. It's a community right in the heart of downtown, and we've partnered up today to celebrate Cesar Chavez's birthday, where it's a day on, where we're giving back to the community, and we're working with the Sky Harbor Coalition. Dave, and we have David here. David, tell us a little bit about what is Sky Harbor Coalition and how did it all start? Yeah, the Support Sky Harbor Coalition has been around for about uh, 12 years or so. And it's a, a group of about uh, 80, 90 businesses that mostly do business in and around the airport. And they've always wanted to give back to the community. So back in a few years ago, we started uh, pulling together our volunteers to do these neighborhood cleanups. And uh, this is actually our 12th cleanup now. 12, Yeah, wow. and uh, you will have probably about 250 people show up today. So we feed them breakfast burritos, and then we, uh, we get them jazzed up, and then we send them out into the neighborhood. We've got these tool trailers. We actually have three tool trailers that the coalition purchased or retrofitted and gave to the city to loan out for other neighborhoods. When the and you know what, um, David, this is a special tool yes. trailer because it's really dedicated to Jerome Miller. Yep. Jerome Miller was a person that gave up um, 19 years of his life yep. and just serving others for the city of Phoenix. And, you know, Jerome was a dear friend of mine. He passed away yep. a couple years ago. And, you know, his memory of having a trailer giving back to the community is so important. Yep. You know, um, everybody's wearing these shirts. It's yes. just incredible, you know, supports Sky Harbor Coalition, the Clean Up Your Neighborhood. It's just so important that we have good businesses at our, at our Sky Harbor Airport that give back, that get involved in the community. You have people out here that are just, volunteering we're gonna have about what three three hundred people 250 so? 300 people depending on uh, we got like the guys from white's company over here we've got folks from all kinds of different companies are out here helping us and out you got weed eaters we've got yeah. about 20 something weed eaters shovels rakes, rakes hose, brooms shovels. you're gonna be painting uh, out graffiti we're today, gonna be huh? painting out graffiti and then actually we've been working here with neighborhood ministries and uh, the kids are all coming together from St. Matthew's School and we're actually gonna be painting a mural here. We've got about 50 kids coming out, be painting a mural. The artist uh, here at uh, actually Opportunities, the guys that designed right. the shirt, They've got a mural over here. We're going to be painting out, making the, the neighborhood a, a little prettier place. And we can't forget about neighborhood ministries that yes. give so much to the St. Matthew community. They built this beautiful complex where they have a school here. They have a medical center. They have a, a little um, area where they have clothes and, and goods for people that people from this neighborhood can actually come and purchase. So, you know, in a t-shirt place where we actually yeah, made all these t-shirts from. You know, so once again, David, thank you so much thank for you. Thank everything you, for you all out. do. Absolutely. And thanks to all those volunteers, and especially all those businesses and all those vendors that support our Sky Harbor Airport that give back to the community. And that's the type of businesses that we have in our Sky Harbor Airport. People that care about Phoenix, people that give back. So thank you to all those vendors, and thank you for all your volunteers that we have out here today. And let's, let's keep on walking and checking it out. Come on, kids. We're right here at the cleanup day for Cesar Chavez in St. Matthew's community. And we're here with Olga from Neighborhood Services. So Olga, how did this all happen? And tell us a little bit about Neighborhood Services and how they get involved in the community. Well, Neighborhood Services has been working with Support Sky Harbor Coalition to conduct cleanups twice a year. The way we get involved, is we get volunteers to come um, and help us. And volunteers are usually from the community or they can come from some of the companies that work with Support Sky Harbor Coalition. A lot of times, though, it takes about six months to plan. It takes a lot of time to plan because these are huge cleanups. As you can see behind us here, we got a good turnout this morning. It's awesome to clean up neighborhoods. Um, the St. Matthews neighborhood was selected this year because it's been such a good partner with the city of Phoenix. So we're excited. I mean, it's going to be awesome. We're doing a mural project today. The kids are going to get to work on it. We're working with St. Matthews School. So it, today is an awesome day for St. Matthew's neighborhood. And you know, one of the things that Neighborhood Services does, especially Olga, mm -hmm. is she goes out to the churches, to the community centers, to the schools, and tries to encourage people to come out. If you look, you see so many young people out here. Mm -hmm. And that's what's so important. I brought my two children, Raymond and Carlos Raul, because it's about giving back. It's about teaching our kids about how to give back to your community, how to serve your community and be those servant leaders. And you know, it's mm -hmm. about, I remember eight years ago when I first took 
public office or the, mm -hmm. we were at there at Lindo Park. Yeah. And there was, that neighborhood was just torn apart with gangs and yeah. people fighting with each other. And now they're building a community center. Today is a groundbreaking for it. It's it, awesome. So, you know, those are the things that happen when mm -hmm. you come in and you show love and you show that you care about yeah. a neighborhood and they take back that neighborhood. And that's where that whole program came out of Take Back Your Neighborhood is yeah. from Lingle Park. And now we're taking over St. Matthew's neighborhood and we're cleaning it up. And we're going to make it one of the best places to live in the city of Phoenix. We have about how many dumpsters are out there? We have 13 dumpsters today. Wow. Yeah, and we have about hopefully 200 volunteers. A lot of the kids are coming out. We're going to have fun. Um, we're going to paint out graffiti and just clean up the place. And then, of course, we're going to continue working with them because we want to make it vibrant and revitalize it. I just want to close this show off by saying thank you. Thank you to the thousands and thousands of people that volunteer and make our city one of the best cities to live in. And our employees, especially like the Olgas of the world and the Davids that are out there building those coalitions with all the vendors and people that have businesses within our airport, you know, and they're giving back to our community. You know, it's that's the type of businesses, that's the type of partnership that we want to have. We want to have partnerships with the community. We want to have partnership with the businesses and the city of Phoenix. And that's the Team Phoenix approach. So thank you all for being a part of Team Phoenix and cleaning up our neighborhoods and making Phoenix the best. Yeah, thank you so much for helping NSC and the, and the council office. He's awesome. <laughs> he always comes out to our cleanup, so we appreciate that. So if you want to get involved, and if you have that CISA put attitude, yes, it can be done, call my office or look me up on Facebook and get involved, and we'll find a place for you to do that. We'll see you next time on Phoenix 2020, a clearer vision for the future of Phoenix.